one. Okay, so last uh, couple clinical pearls, Eric and Cody did a great job on showing uh, how to mobilize the lumbar region, the facets, and how to uh, stretch the QL. So now after, we, after you gain the mobility, now we're going to go ahead and immediately use some pelvic PNF patterns to show that we can start activating these muscles in their new range of motion. So I'm gonna place my hands just right above here, right above the iliac crest. So here's the iliac crest, and then you can come up top. So now you can come up top. So we're gonna to go iliac crest, ASIS. I'm gonna go right here in this position. So as I come in this position, I'm towards the two o'clock position here, and I'm just gonna just have them come on up just like this, right? So I'm just gonna have them pull up, good, pull up, good. And then you can see from back here, you can see how we're getting some side bend left. We're getting some side bend here. And we're getting relative rotation, right rotation, as well as a little extension, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pull up. Good, pull up, good, and pull up. And now we're gonna just do just the opposite. I'm gonna put my hand right here, and now he's actually gonna push down towards the table and now here we're getting, hold it. So now we're actually getting some left side bend flexion up here and relative uh, left rotation, okay? So let's go ahead and push back, push back, push back, good. So I would actually go ahead and, and try this technique right after you mobilize them, right after you gain that uh, new mobility in the lumbar facets. It's a great way to actively get them going.